Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today, I have a very nice machine in front of me. It's an Acer. It's the Acer... Uh, I think it's the 5150. <clears throat> That's what I think that it is. No, it's the Acer 5310. Yep. It's the Acer 5310 and as you can see there's no battery anymore in it and I just cleaned it because my friend Aryan had it lying around and he wasn't doing anything with it so I said yo this thing you know it's still like a real nice laptop but of course it's nothing comparing to it to uh, the quad core machine that he now has the laptop that he now has the Asus or I think it was even the Acer as well so this thing was just lying around I was uh, like hey I'm gonna take it with me he said yes take it I'm gonna make a video of it and uh, the hard drive inside is also broken it has one gigabyte of RAM and uh, well in fact he never did anything to it he said the hard drive broke down and then he just put it away and he bought another laptop you know that's how certain people um, do and then they put it away and then they give it to a nice friend like me that will you know create a nice little movie of the thing so I'm gonna put it upside down because the first thing what you must do if you get this laptop it even has a it even has a Wi-Fi module in it. This is the 5310. It's the Aspire. Acer Aspire 5310 series. Model number GW. No, G, uh, GDW50, I think. That's what it is. But the first thing you must do if you buy a machine like this. Because they are pretty good. They have like 1.8... Uh, how we call it sailor on processor so this is like Intel you must loosen up these screws here I already did it for you and then you must pull this open make sure you removed all the screws and eh? not not that you're gonna break it you don't wanna break it but that's how to remove it and you can see the inside here this is what is the most important thing to look at because up there we get dust so let's take a quick look how it is with that location also use magnetic screwdrivers that will help you to can you see anything I'm doing here yeah. it will help you to uh, not lose any screws so and now we can lift it out be careful there's a cable connected to it I think we have even one more screw I forgot the third one sorry so and now we can lift this up and there you go people this is the problem of all these laptops and you can see it was really easy we just removed the cover and now I'm gonna remove the dust out of this baby because when the dust is removed then this thing can breathe again and then you know it will run just fine you see that a complete stocking up of the system you see that so of course we can burn that and this in here what you should do is just just blow it out it's it's open now it's 
good. Don't worry, it's 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 good. You can also take a vacuum cleaner and clean this thing out. You see? You can loosen up this little thingy here. And then with a the brush, we will go ahead and remove all the dust out of this thing. You know, so it won't start um, collecting dust again. Okay, let's take a look at the rest of the machine. We see some RAM here. Let's see what kind of RAM this is. This is Kingston. And this is 512 megabyte RAM, I think. Can't read it. And here's one more. One gigabyte. Oh. The guy was, yes, there's, five, there's only one gigabyte of RAM in the machine. But this thing has the maximum of RAM already installed. Okay, I need two hands. I'll be right back. I can't find my brush so I have my soft broom here and what I'm doing I'm just like with my soft broom you see the hairs they stick in to the thing and it gets clean you see there's always a way to do it just blow in the in the thing see So that's clean. It's clean enough for the coming years. You see that? It turns it turns really nice. So that is good. So now we're going to put back the fan. And you see how 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 the thing look it looked really clean when we opened it you wouldn't say that the whole thing was stuck with dust and you know what happens when your machine is stocked up with dust then it really get hot then you're sitting behind your laptop it's getting hot and then suddenly the laptop turns off and you're like what the hell is going on but the laptop is doing that to protect itself. You know, in some cases, if something is like wrong with the thing that tells us to shut off, then my friend, your laptop can start burning. Eh? And these things can happen especially when you create like for instance uh, them hacking touch books you know if you create a hacking touch and the power management is not like good then you know the machine gets really hot and when it gets so hot you know and the power management does not tell it to to turn off then you can imagine what can happen I had the Acer machine and I also made the Mac out of it and the thing was running up to a 90 degrees yo Celsius eh? so you know I learned my lesson then oh you must always 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 uh, get a software kind of program 
that will monitor what's happening you know you got to know what's happening man otherwise you're gonna screw your laptop you know don't wanna screw your laptop man don't wanna do that man my reggae knight the ones the best that's killed yeah blood carp babylon ball that blood clad nonsense yeah i love it it's in the tree it's still growing it will never die so me say i and i ja rastafari so let's connect this thing now i understand what the guy was saying he was saying he was trying to install um um uh, windows and then out of nothing it would go off and reboot again you know what it was eh? we all know what it was it was the dust my friend the dust in our life we got to get rid out of the dust in our computers okay connected let's take a look turning on by the way, always make yourself a nice cup of coffee, my friends. Nothing better than a nice cup of coffee. So let's see what's going to happen here. We say start up normally. The thing will probably just start up now because I removed the dust. By the way, did I connect the fan? Cannot remember if I connected the fan. I don't hear it. I think I did not connect the fan. Let's turn it off again. Look here. Look. I never connected the thing, man. Yes, the bina. It only fits one way, eh, peeps? It only fits one way. So when you try to put it and it don't fit, then you must turn it around. You understand? Oops. It only fits one way. Killing me softly with her song Telling my life with the words She's killing me softly with her song Killing me softly With her words Telling my whole life With her song Killing me softly with her song I think she wrote a good song I think she had her But then I came to see her And listen for a while And there she was, this young girl Stare into my eyes Strong in my pain with her fingers Seeing my life with her words She's killing me softly with her song Killing me softly <clears throat> Okay, there we go, peeps with her words telling my whole life and now the fan is running I don't hear it but it will you know it will start running if you know it didn't uh, look broken let's see what's gonna happen
only one pity there was no battery the battery of this thing is gone hard drive activity hang into the logo Tuck. you hear that? you hear that? Tuck. Wow, it was a whole hassle. What I did, I uh, the drive wasn't good, and I tried to fix it with um, with Gparted. It's a program for Linux to partition hard drives, but it was giving me a strange um, error. Something about I don't know, can't remember. So I thought, you know, the drive was like broken, but then I just hung it to, uh, yeah, to an external USB thing, and I went to disk management, and you know, I just deleted the partition, and you know, I fixed it in somehow, and then I formatted it like slow format in uh, in Windows, and then I just put it back into the machine. And I didn't get the error anymore at 60% or at 50% while installing. So it installed Windows 7. But then I thought, you know, let's, uh, because I really wanted to try to install Mac OS X on this, um, the version S3 from iAdcos. And uh, yeah, we're booting now from the drive. And you can see there is progress there. If we hit the caps, you see the caps lock the light is going on meaning you know the thing is busy although I don't really hear it reading but I think it's busy so we're gonna see what's gonna happen and we're just gonna let it boot A way sometimes how I also test if the thing is like really busy is by pressing the thing open but I'm not gonna do it because I see I see um, hard drive progress you know once in a while, once in a while it's it's like busy blinking and so and the computer is not stuck or whatsoever so I'm gonna wait for the next screen to come up and then we're gonna format the hard drive and we're gonna create the uh, a Mac OS X journal partition. Well, the iAdcos S3, the CD is so scratched. I'm I'm not really taking good care of my CDs. I just put them in the spindle and they get scratched and the thing was like, goo, 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 you know. So what did I do? I uh, took one of my other CDs and that one was still working just fine. And this is the iDenup. It's uh unfortunately it is 10.5.7 but it doesn't matter we're going to utilities we're just gonna play a little bit with this thing and we go to um disk utility we all know this process already you saw it in so many of my videos what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a mac uh OS journal partition and we will do that very simple I will show you how okay we will just select this and then we will say erase and we will click here that we want to create Mac OS X journal and we will call it Leo Leopard 
but you can also call it your girlfriend's name if you want to it's all good it's your party man so we're erasing the disk now we're removing the windows 7 that we just installed as a test to see if it was running fine if it would install good and as you can see we also formatted uh, the drive now and uh, well it's done we can leave this and now we will continue and of course we agree 100% and up here we're gonna select the hard drive and then we hit continue and now it's important that we hit customize okay now I'm gonna put the cam like this and then zoom a little bit for you and I will try to name it for you okay the IDENAP essential language will be installed I never did this before on this laptop so everything can go wrong okay bootloader we will go for the chameleon v2 bootloader um, this is not the AMD for the fix we will choose for ACPI SS2 fix oh wait no we will not select anything here Apple SM bias enabler um, C plus C plus is one fix I'm not sure if we're gonna take that one firewire remove IDE halt fix but we didn't have no halt so I USB if your USB doesn't work we will select that just in case mouse lag fix PS2 fix this is important for um, the keyboard and the mouse to work so we will do PS2 old fix and keyboard fix we could also go for Fudu 2 PS2 controller but I went for the thing seat belt if you have a kernel panic while you mount a DMG or other file you must get seat belt Fudu battery manager this thing has no battery Fudu power let's select that um, okay I selected both and then kernel I really don't know what kernel we should take we could go for groups Intel AMD SS2 SS3 we'll go for groups drivers this is important peeps the audio driver we will choose what will we choose here we'll just go for Fudu HDI each each HDA for the chipset we will go for ICHX fix because this is an Intel chipset for the network for the Ethernet we will choose let's see what we're gonna choose um, Apple Yukon Marvel Yukon and for the wireless we need Broadcom Wi-Fi there you go Broadcom so Broadcom is selected for the video this is an Intel video card it's the Intel let me see if it's supported here GAMA3100 there you go GMA3100 that's this one 
and this is not a netbook but if this was a netbook then we could choose for some stuff extra okay so let's do it install it wants to do a CD checking I think you can skip that so the install will start immediately look I don't know if I took the right choices I really don't know peeps we will see after the install and if I made really stupid choices then the installer will not even finish and before it finished uh, finishes it will tell me that you know you are crazy this will never work this way so forgive me if that will be the case you know but I think that if I fail I'm not sure if I'm gonna post this video because then it makes no sense so let's hope that we're doing some good talking at this moment here and that what we choose was uh, good enough to get this thing going until the next reboot before coming up to here it might take a long time that it will be like calculated don't worry about it just leave it don't touch it you know as long as you see that there is activity you know then you know it's all good and then at a certain moment you will hear the CD-ROM playing or turning around and working real hard sending the info to the computer so you know hold tight they say it will take 3 hours and 41 minutes but it will probably take 30 minutes okay we did it so let's restart don't forget to remove the CD and this is always a special moment although I don't really care too much for 10.5.8 I mean like this machine could also run Windows 8 you know it runs Windows 7 perfectly so let's see what's gonna happen Apple logo we just hit enter enter let's see what will happen we have hard drive activity there see that so the chipset was okay let's see what will happen this thing should give us a welcome screen hey there you go blue screen mouse see if we get some welcome sound here yeah we did it baby we did it We did it man beautiful now we will have to see if uh, if the Wi-Fi was also found there eh? because this is just uh, showing us that the driver of the video was well found mouse is working and go to the Netherlands there I saw it there it is the Netherlands also running very stable feeling stable US keyboard do not transfer I have Wi-Fi it's unbelievable my lovely people I have Wi-Fi 
let's log on I have Wi-Fi this was a beautiful install a beautiful install but uh, we will uh, uh, this is the Acer Acer Mac let's put in a password that is to install drivers and important things because inserting a password afterwards it's a real hassle then we have to boot with the CD again it's it's a big big hassle talking with Apple see that peeps this machine is fully Mac compatible I'm so happy with it and there you go I then up start up and this is the first start and that's why it takes a little bit longer so and uh, on top here you can see the sound Wi-Fi everything is found everything is working we are uh, now connected to the internet this should uh, open YouTube for us there you go now I don't know if the YouTube codec is working let's see about that working out of the box people there you go video is playing so let's look at the Mac about this Mac and there you can see it it's uh, Intel Core 2 Solo 2 uh, gigabytes of RAM can you read it and that is it it's 10.5.7 it's not my favorite uh, Mac version to install but as you can see I didn't know this machine and I did it in one time eh? experience man I've been learning I've been doing this so many hours I failed so many times and now in one time I just I did it let's change the background I hope you uh, remember the settings just pause the video here and there you know to um, to get the settings oh this is so classic so beautiful wow this is my favorite for now or maybe animals nature apple images abstract oh there are no animals yet no leopard nature and apple images i leave it like this for now So I'm really happy everything is working that the Wi-Fi is like working that's really makes me happy downloads go to view go applications not windows 
photo boot front row it's all there in fact yo dashboard I love it it looks beautiful well that's it yo that's how to uh, make a Mac from the Acer Aspire 5310 it's a beautiful machine and I think uh, I'm gonna keep it okay we're back um, well the system I just updated the system with uh, the normal uh, way of updating software update and I got all the updates everything and um, after the reboot it started up and at a certain moment uh, I got a black screen and then it rebooted again so then I hit it F8 at the part where I where the bootloader comes I hit F8 and I type dash F yeah dash F that's what I typed and then it rebooted and lots of abacadabra was passing by and at a certain moment the desktop was uh, back and I was updated to 10.5.8 so um, that is it uh, my friends this uh, system then uh, did another update I went back to update and now we must just restart so I'm gonna restart now without dash F and let's see what's gonna happen it's gonna install the stuff first okay the final reboot after the inst uh, install of all the updates and we just hit it and let's see if everything will go fine or if we need to use any command to start up but I don't think so I think you know it will go straight up to the desktop there you go straight up to the desktop well this was it people the thing is just fine see you in my next video thank you for watching again and uh, yeah till my next video and bye bye wow that was fun eh? installing uh, yeah Mac on this old laptop that yeah was abandoned wasn't being used anymore was sitting there with a broken hard drive full with dust this was a great adventure. I think many people with this laptop will be happy to know that they can make a perfect Mac of, out of this thing with uh, all the hardware working out of the box if you choose the right settings. So uh, go study this video very well, share it, like it of course, subscribe to my channel for more and uh, yeah that's it i don't have so much to say it's uh, 2 40 in the morning late enough time for me to go to bed so um at least i created another great video today that makes me happy and i want to say thank you for watching till my next video peace